Literally, their money grows on trees. Their last name stump. <laughs> they cut trees for a living. Literally, the money grows on trees. miles high I'm lower than dirt there's a scary old lady in a mini skirt pinch my cheek for her to sell me a beer then she count my money with a big old snare tan man spitting while he's itching to talk four more hours I'll be ready to walk well open the hatch give me a shoe there's My name is William D. Stump, tree expert from Yorktown, Virginia. <laughs> Without trees, I wouldn't have a career to speak of. That's not my signature. That's, look, that's that's square. From there to there, Billy, and over to there. But we need to get the gum down. I can do that. That's how we get our next job. We don't advertise. You don't see any signs on the trucks. How are we going to get another job unless people, we draw attention to ourselves? Bill Jack Stump right there is a, more or less a, a professor of this particular industry. I mean, if it was such a thing as a PhD, he'd probably have two of those. And now this bar's coming off because the, uh, see, there's a split right there. Now this bar's coming off because the tree has is dehydrating and it shrinks and the bark can't shrink. It's an outside diameter of it and the tree shrinks and now this is falling off. It's like your pants when you lose weight. Um, similar, uh, yeah, and uh, this is stuff that I learned from other people's experience and stuff. My dad's got multiple personalities. <laughs> he's bipolar, he's ADD. <laughs> uh, people that's never met him before probably don't know what to think first time they meet him. They probably think the guy's a nut. I'm a child psychologist, remember? Wings were kicking his <laughs> mouth. I believe in aliens more than Bigfoot. David and Goliath or that giant, the green giant, will tie one ear and one ear over this way. Oprah Winfrey's gonna say, oh my goodness, these poor people out here working in the rain just to make a living. If you stay at the dance too long, you're gonna get in trouble. Something's gonna happen. My favorite word, and uh, other people agree, everything is funnier with the word fuck in it. What the fuck? Fuck you. Fuck. Ah, fuck. So let me see what the fuck. You see what I'm saying? You watch it. Fuck. The uh, fuck. Should have already been done. Boy, she didn't have to marry this motherfucker. You know, it made me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he really is a good, kinded person. He really is. He has a big heart. And, um, along with his big mouth at times. Um. <laughs> playing with you in a minute. I know you're looking at my cereal. My I'll, first I'll, I'll save some for you. I'm Billy Stump. I'm from Yorktown, Virginia. This is my wife, Ashley. Ashley Jane Cooper Stump. Rain is not good. Right now I'm putting my spikes, uh, my, my spikes and saddle, my climbing rope, safety line. Um, you gotta, you gotta have safety gear in order to do something like this. <laughs> Working with family takes tremendous amount of, of um, patience. If you don't have patience, it's not gonna work. He's in the shower. See, you're at the mercy of your employees. They don't wanna, you know, you gotta stand there and wait on them, hand and foot, like they're, ba you gotta be a babysitter. Come hey, on, John. I called like four times, man. I was in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> but see, then you look at him and you can't be mad. It's funny as shit. 
Oh. Working with your family is not for everybody. It is definitely harder than the job itself. Being in a business together and living together can be very stressful at times. You know, because it's, it's always about business and, you know, not about family a lot of times. Susie does so much. Uh, feeding, keeping us clothed, oh my goodness. She could do most anything uh, as far as dispatching, billing, writing, consulting. Yeah. <laughs> The lucky woman Thomas with a man that sure likes to live in the West. The carbohydrates, like Ray Wernham would say, carbon up. Carbon up? Well, there's plenty of carbs. You got potatoes, okay. and, Thank you, honey. and there's bread on the bottom of that, and you got gravy, and you got biscuits and jelly. That's plenty of carbs. Okay, uh, Brian, he th they think Brian's like my brother or best friend or something out there on the job. Brian stop. he's the man. He's, he's ready. He's so full of shit. <laughs> Billy's strict. He, he makes customers wonder if I'm his son or not. The way he treats me. You need to communicate. Don't keep, cut it. don't keep it to yourself. I didn't cut it. Well, continue on then. Nothing against my parents or their business. I really wanted to build something for myself. Oh, you know. Billy's job, you're not allowed to smile. It's no. real, real strict and everything. No, no laugh. If you want to laugh on Billy's job, you got to get in the truck and roll the windows up. <clears throat> Billy likes to shout out orders and holler and it ain't supposed to happen. What it comes down to, he lives through me now. I love going out there because, you know, it's quiet, there's no phone, you don't have to answer to anybody, there's a lot of things that cross your mind, whether it's business, friends, relationships. I do find tree work rewarding. A lot of people don't do it, and uh, it's it's a privilege to be able to do something like that. It's You heard me. I, when that thing took, slipped out, I said, all shit. It didn't amount to anything. One all shit can mess up a hundred attaboys. Tree work is something that, it's a special breed. It's a special breed of people. Johnny Wells, he is a, uh, John, Johnny's, he's pretty old. He's probably in his late 50s. Um, my dad has known Johnny for for right around 30 years, they worked together in the early 80s. Hey, you coming in? Ass to the fleas. Come on in. <laughs> You're the best in the business. Hey, JP. Take the good in here, man. I had a good, I had a good friend of mine, Ricky Hobbs, get me into it long time ago. I was fast food and working fast food at Wendy's, and that was 20 what? 80s, 81, 82. Good friend of mine got me into it working for Aspen, ground man. And it just kind of took off from there. Morale, enthusiasm, motivation, it makes you feel good. Especially the man in the air. Because he's sitting there kind of, you know, paying attention. And then when he hears that, he knows. He knows. <laughs> Growing up in Yorktown, um, honestly, it's the only thing I know. It runs in the blood. It's in the blood. That's how we used to tell the kids to come home. Yeah. We're not country folks. This used to be. We are country. Yeah. We're, 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 we're not town like... folks. I don't know how to do it. We're just old know. county girls. That he killed yeah. Mountains. Yeah. Oh, and this one I killed. I'm uh, still hunting. Wow. If I can check the little. <clears throat> My mom and her sisters, they their last name was Call, so they all call themselves the Call Girls. Growing up in high school, that's all they were known for is being the Call Girls. <laughs>
No, I haven't. Hi, Josh. This is Billy's mom. Billy's mom. Yes. My relationship with the Cooper family, Ashley's family, mother and father, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way if it was my choice. I'm very happy with that. It couldn't, couldn't have worked better. It's, it's sort of like scripted. <laughs> I hang out more with my family than friends. I mean, I have so many cousins, and we're all around the same age, so it's more... I mean, it's just a better party when my family's there, like my aunts and uncles. And if they're not there at a party, it's just, it doesn't feel right. It's not as good of a time mm -hmm. without them. In high school, in the yearbook, Ashley got most likely to, to stay in the YC. Yes. That's, now that's county people talking for your county. <laughs> Ashley is a homebody, and I, I don't ever see her leaving here. That's, I think, one reason why she married me because she, she, she thinks that I'm never gonna leave. Beautiful. Sweet. Woo! Oh, no.